This is KION News Channel 546 at 5. Calls to keep kids in the classroom are growing louder in Monterey. Thanks for being here. I'm Josh Cristianto. The Monterey Peninsula Unified School District plans to bring kids back to school with a hybrid model in phases starting April 12th, but a group of parents is pushing for in-person instruction full-time. KION Stephanie Seves has more after speaking with parents and the district. Parents I spoke with say they're frustrated that their kids aren't able to go back to school full time for in person learning. They say their kids have suffered both mentally and academically. MPUSD parents rallied in Monterey Saturday to express their concerns with schools not opening full time. Recently, the district announced they will open four days a week for five hours a day for elementary schools. This comes after the CDC relaxed social distancing guidelines from six feet of distance to just three, allowing for more students to be in one classroom. But parents say this change is not enough. They want middle and high schools to have more time in the classroom as well. We got the elementary schools back in, but we did not get our middle schools and our high schools back in. They're offering a two hour enrichment period as opposed to actual learning. It's not good enough. MPUSD elementary, middle, and high school students are slated to come back in phases for part-time in-person learning starting April 12th. For now, they are still doing distance learning, but in a few weeks, middle and high school students will have the option to come to class for a two-hour enrichment support or advancement period. MPUSD Superintendent PK Diffenbaugh says it's for a good reason. In order to bring middle and high school students back in the safest way possible, um, we did not want to have them have a traditional day where they're mixing and going to first period here and second period there and third period there and increasing the number of contacts that they have. The California Department of Public Health recommends that K through 12 students stay within stable groups or a group that doesn't mix with other students. The superintendent says this is easier for elementary school kids who typically stay with the same teacher and class for the entire day. For this reason, the superintendent says they will be opening incrementally, but parents still feel otherwise. CDC says it's safe. Other schools have said it's safe. According to the CDPH, data for elementary schools shows low risk of transmission amongst young children. But the department says there is more potential spread in older children, citing two studies conducted in France. The superintendent says the district intends to open full time during the fall if the cases keep going down. Reporting in Monterey, Stephanie Aceves, KION News Channel 546.